Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Behind the Clutter. In this video, I am gonna show you how to replace the engine oil of a 2003 model Maruti 800. Before you jack up your car, the first thing you have to do is to secure your car from rolling. Here we are using these bricks as stoppers. Raising the car on the left side helps you to drain out maximum amount of oil from the sump. The one I am using is a scissor lift jack. This one came along with the vehicle and you may find it inside the trunk. But we can't say that it's completely safe. So it's always better to add an additional layer of support. Before proceeding further, we need to remove the front bumper to replace the oil filter. Because I found this method to be more easier than removing it from the bottom while the vehicle is on a single jack point. Actually, it's quite easy to remove the bumper from a Maruti 800. First, let us remove the front grille. For that, we need to remove these two Phillips head screws in the front and the grille will come apart. Now, let's remove the bumper. For that, you need to remove a total of four screws. Two are placed under the indicators and two are inside the wheel arch. To get access to the bumper screw, let's remove the indicator first. and do the same over this side. Now let's remove the screws and free the bumper from the car body. Now let us drain the oil. For that first remove the oil filler cap and the dipstick. And you will need 17mm rings to loosen the drain plug. It will take some time to drain out completely. So meanwhile, let's replace the oil filter. I am using this oil filter wrench to remove the filter. Just keep in mind that this one is specific to the size of the filter. If you want to buy that, I will leave a link in the description. So please check that out. Remove the filter by rotating it in counterclockwise direction and clean the area before you install the new filter. Now apply some engine oil on the rubber o-ring of the new filter and screw it back in its position. Now replace the drain and washer with a new one and screw it back on the sump. and clean the oil residues left around the drain nut. Lower the vehicle before pouring the fresh oil because then only we will get the correct level on the dipstick. You must get an oil level closer to the second marking on the dipstick while the engine is at its operating temperature. This one is Maradi's 0.8 liter F8B engine with 2.7 liter capacity of engine oil. For this car, I am using a 20W50 grade engine oil. Considering the age of the car and the weather conditions I am in. Now let's wait for a few seconds for the oil to settle and check the level on the dipstick. It's near to the middle so that we need to pour some more oil. And now it's touching the top. This level is perfect because some amount of oil will move into the oil filter on starting the engine. So let's crank the engine and let it ideal for a minute and check the oil level again. Now this one is a correct level because oil will expand on temperature and further rises up when the engine reaches its operating temperature. So it's all done. 
Now all you have to do is to install everything back in the reverse order. So thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel for more different videos like this. So see you with another behind the clutter video next week, till then bye bye.